my goodness gracious. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Wine Wednesday. It's the day before Thanksgiving. We got you hooked up. Uh, you, oh, Will the Wine Guy is here. Oh, hey. How you doing? Um, happy uh, Thanksgiving, my friend. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, so we have wine for you to save, sip, and splurge That's right. for Thanksgiving. That's right. Okay, uh, let's talk about this. Which wines can we bring? We want to bring a nice bottle of wine. Maybe you don't have 100 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever. Sure. For 10 bucks, talk to me. Yes. Oh, wait, we didn't. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. <laughs> what, what, what a faux pas. I did not. Uh, cheers, Will. Yes, cheers. Ooh, and we'll get back to. Uh, That's coming. We'll up. get back to the wine now. So, in the $10 range. $10 range. What we're looking at here, really good bubbles to bring. You know, I'm a big fan of the Cava. Of course. Right? We love so, the Cava. if you don't want to uh, spend a bunch of money, uh, I went over to Privateer Marketplace in Oceanside and found all these wines. Okay. Um, you know, this is in the $10 range. You can bring some bubbles. It's made in the traditional method, so nobody's going to get any champagne headaches from it, right? Because it's that made happens. properly. That's totally. Thing. No, it's made properly. Right. You don't have to worry about that. Um, so, yeah, I would go sparkling wine, $10 range. What about the so champagne right? snobs? What do you tell them if you bring this? Is this an acceptable? It's because it tastes good, and it's a good totally. It's a good cup. What you tell them is it's made in the traditional method. Got it. Right? And that's the way champagne is made. There's okay. two other ways to make champagne. We can have another segment about that. But yeah, this is made that. in the That's a New Year's Eve traditional method. Yeah, New Year's Eve segment. segment. There we go. Here we segment. Go. Uh, <laughs> let's go for the let's let's double our budget. Let's go okay. to twenty dollar bottles because there is a wide variety of options for twenty bucks. There are a ton of really good wines you can get in the twenty dollar range. Um, the thing, so this is a local wine, and this is where I would get into the local wines, right? Yep. Because you can support somebody local. Uh, one of the local winers, a lot of them have their wines in that 20 to $25 range. There's plenty right. of selections. So um, you can hit up any of the vineyards, or like I said, it was a privateer, and they had uh, this one here, Benign Neglect. Benign uh, Neglect. Is a, it's a Justin Munn. It's actually Orfila's uh, second label, Justin Munn. I love Munn. it. Oh, yeah. that's good to know. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's blow the budget, Will. <laughs> Money is no object, Will. Uh, what is our choice to splurge? Well, I, is that what we're drinking, by That's what we're drinking, of course. Yeah, I wasn't going to open it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to you. So, you know, I still want to be a little cost conscious. Right? You can get a good deal on right, this. Right, but right. this is Mad Hatter. This is going to be a Napa Valley blend. Oh. It's got um, four or five different varietals. Cab and Merlot heavy. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, is that at Thanksgiving, you don't really want like 100% Cabernet. It's too tannic. It's a little bit too okay. big. So having a blend with the Merlot and all these other um, varieties in there, varietals, um, it's going to soften it out and make it a little bit more fruit forward. It's going to go with Thanksgiving fruit dinner a little bit better. This yeah. is very good. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, how much is that? So this is uh, this comes in in the fifty-five dollar range. I know they had it on sale seventy-five dollars normally, um, but this is Tuck Beckstoffer. Andy Beckstoffer is one of the best. Has one of the best vineyards in Napa Valley. This is his son doing this. This is really really good wine. Very, very tasty stuff. <laughs> we have time for one question, Will. Okay. Because we rambled on about wine. It's what we do. It's one Wednesday. Here right. we go. Uh, Lance in El Cajon wants to know this. What can I bring to Thanksgiving mm. to pair with pumpkin pie? Nice. Oh, there's a twist. So here's the cool thing. Um, wine is great with a lot of different things, but beer pairs well with a lot of different things. Really? as well okay. and so what i find with dessert almost across the board mm -hmm. you can find a beer that will, will pair better with dessert than just about any wine other than sports and things like that okay. but um what i would do is there's so many different pumpkin ales out right now because it's fall Good. right i mean it's uh plenty of local breweries i know thorn makes one i think it's called cinderella's um uh, midnight ride that's not really an ale though it's a ghost okay but it's a pumpkin spice uh, type goes, if you will, but there's sure. pumpkin spice beers all over the place. They'll pair perfectly with pumpkin. Wonderful. Yeah. Great subject. Mm -hmm. Lance, that, there you go. Will, happy Cheers. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank happy you. Thanksgiving. There's your uh, sip. What was it? The safe. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get it. <laughs> Don't worry. I said, we got to get a name that's easier for me to say. You save, you sip, you splurge. Mm -hmm. It takes a couple times for me to get it. Thank you. Cheers. All right, gentlemen.